Hi, I'm Dan Lanny, and you join us here in beautiful New South Wales, Australia, where we're shooting the launch content for the new Sony PXW FS5. Now, we've been on set for a few days now, working with this camera, and I have to say, we've kind of coined it on set, the little brother to the FS7. I'm Mick Jones, and I'm the DP on Free Spirit. What I love about the FS5 is the small form factor. It's so light, and I love the position of the rotatable hand grip on the side. It uh, is very easily adjustable, allows for very quick low angle and high angle shooting. You can also mount that LCD that comes with the camera in three different physical positions on the camera. So it makes it very adjustable between the hand grip and the LCD. You can pretty much get it into any position. This camera doesn't just have an LCD display. It also has a high resolution electronic viewfinder with an OLED display. That means you've got very rich blacks and great image resolution. So when you're shooting just using the eyepiece alone, you're not compromising the images that you can see so you can get accurate focus and good framing. I like to shoot with a lot of movement and with this camera, it meant we could strip it right down to its bare bones, which brings it in at about a kilo in weight, which is just under two pounds. Great for mounting to gimbals. Now this camera will record 4K at 24p, 25p and 30 frames per second. It's small, it's compact, but it's also packed full of features. This is a 4K camcorder recording onto dual slot SDXC media. The codec this camera is using is XAVC long at 100 megabits. So you've got high quality bit rate with good efficiency for your card usage. I think the FS5 is going to be ideal for indie filmmakers because of its small size and flexibility. I also think it's gonna make a great documentary camera. So the jewel in this camera's crown is not only will it record in full 4K, up to 30 frames per second, but it also will record in full HD. And the little kind of extra seasoning, if you like, is the fact that it will give you eight seconds of 240 frames per second in a burst mode. Now this camera has something very unique to a Super 35mm camcorder. It has an electronic variable neutral density filter and that will work from 1 4th to 128th ND. And this means you can dial in the exact amount of ND you need to maintain your f-stop and exposure. So this camera has the Sony Alpha mount system which is about as flexible as you can get. You can adapt any lenses that you've got to this with various adapters from third-party manufacturers. But what I love about it is the ability to shoot with really compact, lightweight E-mount lenses. There's a function on the FS5 called Clear Image Zoom, and this will extend the range of your focal length up to two times, and it's surprisingly good. Having the direct menu access button on the hand grip allows you to access key functions of the camera like ISO, uh, shutter speed, and white balance without taking your eye away from the eyepiece. I really enjoyed the shooting experience with the FS5 these past three days. I think that the biggest thing it's got going for it is flexibility and form factor. I think it just, you know, gets out of the way and lets you get creative and make the film you want to make. <laughs>